good morning guys welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new coming to you live with a very pale freaking face as you can see we have two different skin tones going on right now because my spray tan never lasts on my face so i just use darker foundation to compensate and lately i've just been using this l'oreal infallible pro glow and i really like it it's very lightweight but still provides a lot of coverage but it just like doesn't feel cakey at all because it's such a like liquidy formula it's really easy to blend and when I go to put this on you can really truly see how pale my face is because this is like the only thing that makes me match the rest of my skin even my concealer is a little bit too light so I have to be careful with this and just make sure that I blend it all the way because otherwise it will make my face look pale again but I'm just kind of trying to use up what I have because I cleaned out my vanity a couple days ago and I got rid of so much makeup that I have bought because the tone didn't match or something and then I just like don't even use it. So I feel like the few days where my spray tan doesn't match my face and I have to go with a darker shade, I would just rather use like a drugstore one and save money. The older I get, the less I am into just wasting money. Like I feel like I got that really out of my system in my early 20s and now I just have no desire to spend money on anything unnecessary because I just see it now for what it is. I'm like, I can tell when it's a useless purchase. And I used to just be like, no, I need this, I need this. And I'm like, girl, no, you did not. Like, I see that now, but at the time I would really convince myself that everything I was buying was a need. Also, don't mind my little baby hairs here. This has to be the most annoying part of growing your hair back. Like, after dealing with the hair loss, like, this sucks it just looks so silly I'm like I can't get it to go away but like I'm glad my hair is growing in but I just feel like like what even is that <laughs> I just feel like it looks so goofy so anyways how have you guys been I've been very well as you guys know working on building my social media agency in the background of everything and it is just completely taken over my life but I'm enjoying every minute of it because just like when I first started sun styled I see so much potential in this so I'm very excited about it I'm trying not to let it completely consume me, but when you have my personality type, um, I just get completely consumed by these kind of things. But I thought it'd be fun to do a work day in my life, like full blown day and really focus in on where I've been and what I've been working on so I can kind of show you guys the behind the scenes. I've attempted to do that a little bit in my other vlogs, but I feel like I just get so consumed by what I'm doing and I didn't make vlogging much of a priority that I'm just kind of picking up my camera and like, well, now I'm doing this, now I'm doing this. I want to actually like show you guys what I've been working on and share that with you since I have been so distant and I haven't forgot about YouTube at all. I miss it so much and I am really, really trying to get back into enjoying social media for me because how am I going to do social media for other people and just completely neglect my own? So I don't want to do that by any means. Okay, I finished my makeup and my hair is the leftover waves from like two days ago. I like doing this like waved hairstyle because I can get multiple days out of it, but I'm not gonna lie, my hair is really, really dirty and greasy, but I didn't feel like washing it, so we're just gonna live with this today. I did decide to like pull half of it back in a little clip because I feel like I wanted to just switch up the hairstyle. I don't know, this is a new look for me. But I'm gonna do a little mini haul. Hollister gifted me some stuff and I have not bought anything from Hollister in many many years but they're actually the sister company of abercrombie and fitch and abercrombie has so many cute styles so i'm really excited they wanted to send me some stuff just some really cute summer basics and i'm gonna try them on for you guys okay the first thing is actually what i'm wearing right now and it's just this basic crop top it's just a scoop neck and it's actually like a ribbed material it's super stretchy and comfortable pick this one out in two colors because i liked it so much it's a very good basic and then the other thing are these denim shorts which are so freaking cute you guys i honestly kind of forgot about hollister i always feel like it's for more younger people but it's actually not like they have really good basics and stuff both hollister and abercrombie over the years have evolved a lot i'm not going to try on every single thing these shorts are super similar but they're just distressed along the bottom and they don't have any rips in them or anything so this is the same top in the other color i love it these shorts are a different style though these are the mom shorts 
they're definitely a little bit bigger i went with a size five because i was just thinking that these were going to run smaller for some reason i definitely could have went with a three but i feel like because they're the mom style like the looser fit is fine and then just to shock everybody i actually picked out something that has a little bit of color to it i don't wear a whole lot of color but i do like the florida gators and during football season on saturdays i always like to wear blue to support the gators so i thought this would be perfect for that but yeah in case i didn't mention it everything will be linked in the description you guys already know that if i'm showing you anything it's usually gonna be linked in the description but just so you know this might be my favorite thing I got when I tell you I love oversized t-shirts obviously we always know that but this is so thin and lightweight like I can't tell you it's like really breathable and it's just a really cute like race car graphic t-shirt I don't even know what it says Sin City Raceway whatever that is I don't know it's just really cute so and then lastly is this really cute black flowy dress I love this. It has a little like slit right here at the leg. Really pretty detailing and a little tie. It has adjustable straps. Just such a cute flowy summer dress. So shout out to Hollister again for sending me all of that. Thank you so much. I love all of it. Okay, so one of the big tasks for me today is to do a bunch of local email outreach. That is how I have had success with my existing clients for the most part has been cold email outreach. And I definitely have to follow up a lot. It's a tedious process, but that's what's working for me right now. So I'm trying to spend a good amount of time doing that so I can continue to grow my client base. So I need to do that. And I already have a list of leads that I gathered over the weekend that now I need to write all the emails out. I obviously have like a template that I like to start with, but I do have to customize these because otherwise you get nowhere with cold email outreach. So they're all customized and it does take me a good chunk of time. So I think that's gonna be my first order of business this morning. And then the other thing that I need to work on is actually kind of exciting. I'm starting a Facebook ad campaign for one of my clients. And this is something that I have been gaining experience slowly but surely with um, Facebook ads and Instagram ads and all of that. I can't remember if I told you guys or not, but I got my digital marketing certification. Um, I had to take the exam. I had studied for it for a while. I took it. I passed it. So I am officially certified for two years with Meta in terms of digital marketing and running Facebook ads. There's definitely lots more certifications and things you can get, but I wanted to get that just so that I have that credibility when I'm pitching the service to clients. So I am going to be designing some creative and just like coming up with some different headlines and copy to present to them to see what they want to go with for this first ad campaign. So that's the other big thing that I need to work on today. Finished all of my email outreach and I'm trying to take a little mental break. I didn't do it today, but I have been forcing myself to take breaks away from the screen every 90 minutes during my workday, just because I get very sucked in and focused on what I'm doing that I will not even get up to go to the bathroom, not get up and go eat something. I'll just like completely neglect myself because I'm so focused and I want to get everything done, which isn't healthy. So I've been forcing myself to take breaks. Shout out to my therapist for recommending the whole 90 minute thing. Um, so I do set a timer, but I put it out there and I have like scheduled breaks and I haven't followed it yet today, like I said, but I mean, I guess it's been like a little over 90 minutes. I guess I'm technically following it, just not with the timer, um, but I am going to go out there, make a little snack and just take a break away from screens. That's kind of the whole idea behind it is just being away from a screen for like 10 minutes or something so that when I come back, I can transition into my next task and just focus better overall. Also, recently discovered these lemon drinks from Costco. They are amazing, like so good. I always go through these phases where I'm like obsessed with a certain type of beverage, but I just like to switch things up. And this is primarily water. It's hydrating lemon water, zero sugar. They come in different flavors. This one's watermelon. I think this one's my favorite, um, but I think there's more than two flavors and I've only tried this in one other one. But it's just filtered water, organic lemon juice, organic erythritol, organic natural flavors, uh, vitamin C, and stevia. Letting Trooper outside, so if you hear him squealing, it's probably because he sees a squirrel. But I want to show you guys, first of all, is this not beautiful? 
I had this thing last year and it completely died and it came back in full freaking bloom. It's beautiful. I even propagated it. I have a little one over on the other side of the deck. But what I wanted to show you guys was this cactus my sister gave me. It was so small. You can see like it was like this big when she gave it to me and it's grown so much, but wait, it gets better. Do you see this? That little newborn baby right there. <laughs> I'm gonna insert a photo of what this looked like literally a month ago. It is growing so fast and I am just shocked. Every time I come out here, I swear it's like grown a few inches. Okay, here's my little snack break slash lunch. I just cut up two mini cucumbers, added a bunch of hummus on top and some everything bagel seasoning and some pretzels. Nice and light, but I'm gonna eat this and then get back to work. So I'm working on the creative for this ad campaign and I'm actually going to Facebook's ad library. Fun fact, if you run ads for a business or even for yourself, um, you can go to the meta ads library and look at all of the different ads for any business that runs Facebook ads. It's public knowledge. Facebook is very transparent about that. And so it really helps from a marketing perspective because you can see what other people are doing, such as other people in your niche, competitors, and things like that. You can kind of see what's working. And if you see an ad that's been running for several months now, you can assume that it's performing well. And it can give you some inspiration when you're designing your own ads. Casetify sent me some cute stuff, so I'm gonna do a little Casetify haul. First of all, I'm obsessed. This is a really cool MagSafe compatible ring holder. So it works like a pop socket, except pop sockets are not MagSafe compatible, I don't think, unless they've come out with something new. So this is really cute, and it's a little ring, and it folds flat up against your phone, and you can still use MagSafe. Works like this, pretty cool. And then they also sent, this I'm pretty excited for because my phone dies every day. I'm constantly on my phone. I use it for social media management for my own stuff, but then also for business now. So my phone is just constantly dying. So I'm really, really glad they sent this. Plus it's like super sleek and thin. So it's just really easy to like throw in your bag and go. And then this really cute phone case, which I love. So shout out to Casetify, use my code on screen if you guys wanna shop, get yourself some new tech accessories and save some money. Just finished walking two miles and I look freaking sweaty. But I haven't told you guys I recently bought that. What was gonna be a walking pad, but I actually decided to get a different one. It's by the brand, the walking pad, and I'll leave a link to it in the description. But I had been wanting to get like an under desk walking pad for a while because ultimately I wanted my time to be walking to be a break from the screen. And my personal trainer is trying to get me to walk between eight and 10K steps per day. And there's just no way with me sitting at my desk every day I can hit that goal. So so that's another reason why I decided to invest in that. But that one in particular is really cool because it folds up and it does go up to, I think, 7.5 miles per hour. So you can absolutely jog and run on it. I haven't used it to run because if I'm gonna go for a true run, I'll probably go outside. But yeah, ever since I got that, I've definitely been walking more and just trying to utilize it. Even on like the little 10 minute breaks I was telling you guys about, I like to use it for that as well. I have to show you guys this huge PR package that I got from Liquid IV. So thank you so much, Liquid IV. I was not expecting this. And I was like, what the heck is this? Chad's like, what did you order? I pull it out of the box and you guys, this thing talks. I've never gotten PR that does this. Ready? So they sent me the newest product, the sugar-free hydration multipliers. And there's actually some new flavors, which is pretty exciting. We have lemon lime white peach oh that sounds amazing and then green grape how awesome is this chad and i love liquid ivy we buy it by the bulk at costco and there's also this little pull out drawer stickers that are scratch and sniff are you kidding me we got a zero regrets hat so cool a whole speaker literally a freaking reusable speaker and a water bottle 
This is pretty awesome. Oh my gosh, and look at the strap. These little charms remind me of croc charms. So cute. Thank you so much, Liquid IV. I love them so much. If you guys aren't drinking Liquid IV, it's the best way to get hydrated, especially if you've been outside all day and you've been sweating a lot, or it's also really good if you have had too much to drink and you want to get some extra hydration before you go to sleep or something. I love it. It is much later now and I am in bed about to go to sleep soon. I want to show you guys the book that I'm currently reading though. It's called The Last Flight. This book is so good and I started it like three nights ago, so I'm not very far into it but it starts off strong. Like, pretty quickly you're like, oh, this is gonna be good. So I'm really enjoying that book a lot and I already recommend it even though I'm not finished yet. I can just tell it's gonna be crazy. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this vlog. If you're not already subscribed, be sure to click that subscribe button and I'll see you in my next video.